Well hello folks, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail and where we are today is we're at the Ulster Folk and Transport Museum near Kiltra and uh, you can see some of the old shops there that's the dispensary Sloan with the old clothing and uh, this is Mill Street and then this is Pronounce that a cool and place, I think that is. So you can see some of the old houses. But uh, what I want to talk to you today about is King Billy chocolate. Um, because there actually was produced chocolate called King Billy chocolate. Now, chocolate was introduced in England around 1600 as a drink, and so it was. In liquid form before it became solid form. Now the chocolate kitchens of Hampton Court Palace in England were built by Christopher Wren about 1690 as part of William III's and Queen Mary II's rebuilding program for Hampton Court and chocolate was actually an expensive luxury at that time. So the chocolate was made into a drink back then and it wasn't until about 1850 that actually chocolate um, became popular as a solid food. So I'm going to take you in here and show you one of these wee houses very quickly. So this is a dressmaker's house. Date original was built 1880s and these aren't replicas, these are these are reconstructed from the originals so they're certainly not replicas a lot of them has been transported here brick by brick so down the steps here. So Cabri was manufacturing box chocolate in England by 1868 and of course they're still manuf manufacturing chocolate today Cabri and William and Mary would take their drinking chocolate every morning at breakfast time but because William was especially fond of chocolate he would drink it throughout the day as well and Originally the chocolate was dark of course and as milk chocolate of course wasn't invented until 1776 in Switzerland and so William employed Solomon, Solomon de la Fay, I think that is our Faya as his chocolate maker. Now in 2018 it was reported that uh, the Orange Lodge of, in Scotland was actually selling King Billy chocolate bars and I hope to use a wee picture of one of those in the video here um, for to sh uh, show at the start of the of the video so the uh, chocolate bars King Billy bars cost one pound each and they were also selling King Billy fudge wine gums cola cubes and honeycomb so these are some of those houses here so I'll take you in and show you this one and then I'm going to take you in and show you the wee shop so you can see the fire's lit, which is good because it is a cold day. So good to see the fire lit in here, very small, isn't it? As I say in Northern Ireland, you couldn't swing a cat in it. So this is the labourers' houses, Tea Lane, and they were late 1820s. There's the, the broom. This is your kitchen. This is excellent, isn't it? And then your outside toilet, of course. As you can see. And I've actually seen the uh, the royal toilet in Hampton Court. King Billy's apartments. Of course, whenever the police station closed down in Dromore, somebody uh, stole 
the turrets out of the police station whenever the build, whenever the police station closed down. Now the police did investigate it, but they said they had nothing to go on. So I'm gonna take you and uh, sh show you the wee shop, but before I do, that's the outside of the shop there. Inside, should I say? But before I take you in, I want to show you a wee bar of chocolate. So you can see, Cabri's is actually still producing chocolate to this day, which is uh, fantastic, isn't it? And I'm going to have that wee bar uh, hopefully uh, later. So, what I want to do now is. Uh, I want to bring you in and show you this wee shop. So you can see it's open. And there's a wee bell, of course. So this is a working shop. So you're able to buy out of this wee shop whenever you come to the folk park. So you can see all the goodies. And it reminds me of my dad's wee shop that he used to have in the house. So brilliant, isn't it? And then, I'm going to read this wee bit of information I tell you. It says, Corner Shop, Building Facts, Original or Replica? Original. So this is an original shop. And a date originally built 1889. So that's quite amazing, isn't it? And it was dismantled and moved to the Folk Park in the late 1980s. And it first opened to the public in 1995. Uh, it was, the uh, original location was Nelson Street, Irish Quarter West, Cag Fergus County, Antrim. So that's fantastic, isn't it? So there you go. So I'll just give you a wee few of the store window and then we'll wrap this up. I didn't get my sweeties yet, don't I? But I'm gonna get my wee bar of chocolate shortly. So what you can see is, it says there, fries chocolate so there you go so thanks for watching and god bless